Well, as we look to the future uh, and how sports and media is evolving so fast, we go right to your school and the Longhorn Network mm -hmm. kicking off this year. Yes. Uh, will you plan on incorporating concepts like college networks? We've seen like the Pac-10, yeah. uh, and I think the Big 12 has its own network now. Is that going to be a big part of what you teach? Well, I, I think that we'll certainly play off of the new Longhorn Network, uh, the ESPN-UT uh, collaboration, which again is one of a kind. It's one of the things that drew me to UT, uh, the power of the brand of UT and the, the power of, uh, uh, of, of what they can do to drive sports and media. And I think ESPN certainly recognized that. It wasn't just me or the people that were already there. Uh, it's the, the power of UT sports uh, is, is very important. I think our students will benefit from this because as you know, uh, a new network has to be on 24-7. And I don't think anyone is interested in seeing ESPN 7. Right. All right. They want to see something new, and that's what ESPN wants to do, and it's what UT wants to do. So I think we'll end up uh, being able to provide opportunities for students to, to do writing, to produce content, uh, to create new programs, to create... Um, some interesting stuff to go on ESPN. It, part of the deal is that it's not just all sports programming mm -hmm. because you would run out uh, from UT, but it, it's, it's to, to look at the, U, the university as a whole and to, to pick up on other things that are important going on around the university. The numbers themselves in terms of what schools, the colleges can earn from uh, possibly having their own networks right. has been discussed. But do you also think there's a branding element involved for the universities that become part of uh, networks, college networks? Well, yeah, I think uh, as, as much as there is still a debate, and it's a very active debate out there about the should athletics be as important as they are on some campuses, uh, that, that debate is there and it's probably not going away. Uh, my gut is, and based on my background and where I've been and where I went to school, when you do well on the field, when you do well on the court, and assuming that you keep your house clean, I think it reflects well on the university. And uh, it's not a coincidence that enrollments, especially in private institutions that have done very well on the field or uh, on the court, they see their enrollment spike and interest in the university spike. And you know that, that means a lot, especially to some small private universities, that really need that extra interest and that potential funding. For a place like the University of Texas, they're gonna fill up regardless. Mm -hmm. I think it still brings interest and I think it upgrades the quality of the students.